What's going on guys? Welcome to J West Reviews. Uh, yeah, under maintenance, we're probably uh, going to be doing some new stuff pretty soon. Check on that. It, it might not even be J West uh, Reviews anymore. It might be something completely different. Um, but it's good to be back. Um, been working been working on some cool stuff, man. I'm telling you, I'm going down a different path, different avenue now. Um, getting my hands in different pots and everything like that. But besides that... Um, it's good to be back making videos having a good time this video was long overdue long overdue i've been wanting to get to this video for probably like over a year now <laughs> i've just been putting it off putting it off but now it's the perfect time the, the the perfect storm just happened brian flynn over at uh super seven just announced that we will be getting 2003 figures in the ultimate form so basically like those super seven ninja turtles the, the the vintage ones that they recreated they're doing that for the 2000 line and i couldn't be more stoked um so with that being said this is going to apply to both super seven and neca because it was originally for neca but now i'm going to do it for super seven too and it's going to be basically my top 10 of characters I, I would like to see and who i think would be really cool in figure form so basically it will be a particular order and it, like my list may not agree with your list and your list may not agree with mine that's fine we all have different opinions we all have different you know you know character likes and dislikes and all that good stuff so uh we're just gonna have fun with it have a good time and let's get to that list man all right so yeah number 10 on my list casey jones um yeah definitely the look of casey he had a pretty cool look. He had that red shirt, kind of like that Mirage looking uh, red shirt. And he had these like blue pants with the uh, white stripe going down, uh, gloved hands. He had a pretty cool look about him. Uh, come, he should come with a lot of weapons. Usually the usual weapons, the baseball bat, hockey stick, a uh, couple hockey sticks actually. Uh, let's see what else he's got here. I'm looking at some pictures as I'm doing this. Uh, removable mask. Uh, he's got to have a removable mask. Got You got to either have the... Um, the mast head or a removable mask whichever way you want to do it like two heads or one head and uh, no, on two heads or one head with a mask that you can take off probably it'll probably most likely be uh uh two separate heads so they could do that um that's you know that that could attain that could pertain to super seven or neca um i didn't think about anybody who could, like if he came with a two-pack maybe they could throw him with like a foot soldier like they did with um the uh, the eighty seven uh, turtles. They pretty much put Casey with a foot soldier slash foot soldier. They could possibly do the same thing with this, or they could package him with an April because April's not at April is not on my list. Um, I'll, I'll just get that right out, you know, right out the gate. She's not on my list because actually her character design it was boring to me. <laughs> it was boring. Sorry, it was, it was just her character design was boring. I didn't care for it too much. Uh, so she ain't on my list. Deuces. Um, so yeah. So that Casey would be a dope figure. If neck is if it's going to neck group, if they ever get to 2003 figures, I say package him with a foot soldier, be done with it. Um, as for Super 7, you know how they come out with some crazy stuff. Um, they kind of do like the the they, they recreate the original figure and then they throw some extra goodies in there so i i can't wait to see what they do with that character that'll be dope um nine number nine baxter stockman um now as i wrote for i, I got my notes here i wrote down for baxter stockman um i feel like it would be cool if they did a build a stockman right now in in the, in the show with each punishment, he he was losing parts left and right. So they could go in so many different directions with this figure, Super 7 or NECA. With NECA, uh, they could have like an original, uh, just Baxter Stockman, lab coat, couple, you know, items here and there, a couple weapons, foot soldiers, I mean, not foot soldiers, um, uh, Mausers or whatever. And throughout the waves have extra parts like a like a head with like a missing eye or like um like a, a, a arm that can um detach and reattach that's like that's got like a claw hand or something like that with super seven i think let me let me let me look this up real quick let's see let's go to 2003 baxter 
Dockman. And so we're going to take a look at some of the different versions because he had a hover chair, he had a robot arm, he was missing an eye. He had so many punishments, man. And Hun was doing all this. The Shredder was like, yo, <laughs> do him up. And, and every time he got punished, he lost a piece of his body. It was, it was kind of crazy until eventually he ended up with just like, like an Utram like skin and just his head. And then pretty much he ended up just being a brain and an eyeball. <laughs> And then they came out with this, this, this new body form, and then it started to decay, and then he was just like he was looking kind of nasty. Um, so yeah, like they, they, Super Seven could probably have like different, all different kind of stuff that they can make a back like a normal Baxter, and then just pieces that you could take on and off to make him look like that, like. Ultron Baxter or the Robot Baxter or the head in the jar Baxter. It, it, they could go so many different ways with it. I would love to see any incarnation of that Baxter in toy form because I think it would be dope. Um, so if NECA did it, maybe they could package him. Who would they package him with? Possibly package him with... I could definitely see him coming with... Let me see... The old Baxter came with Splinter. All right, if they, if, they, if they go the 87 route and do kind of the same thing, they package him with a Master Splinter. That could be cool, too. Um, or they could do an Ultimate. They could do an Ultimate uh, version, um, like they did with April and, like, the, you know, uh, the Turtles that are coming out are getting Ultimate versions. They can do that. So a bunch of different ways, different, different routes they can go with that. Number eight. Okay, this one's going to be... I, I, got, I got some four packs in there. I got, I got a couple four packs in there. The Foot Mystics. Um, or, let me see. I, I call them the Foot Mystics, the Elementals, those guys. Now, there's different forms for these guys. So, Foot Mystics. I prefer them in those little... When they were, like, enslaved by Shredder, they had these little armored things on. They look like... They all look the same. So, you can get the same sculpt out of all five and then have different um accessories and weapons um pretty much like you could have um you know fire effects ice effect um one was you could have wind effects and dirt effects because they're all ele elementals you could have that look if you want to go the route of how they looked later on in the series and they actually had actual bodies they're all gonna look different i wouldn't mind that those versions too but um they'll probably i don't know if you would get all five of those in a, a, like in a pack but you could probably put the you know the little the smaller versions in a five pack and make them all fit but the other ones now nah, you're gonna have to have those either two packs or set or separate but I would love to see, like, the effects that they come with and see how, you know, I think they all come with, like, the same weapons, pretty much. But then they, they can come with different effects, which would be really dope to see. Um, so I would love that. Um, so as for those guys, I would just have them in a in five pack. Then they just, you know, instead of having them individual or, you know, um, two packs, I would just have them in one big pack. That would be dope. Number seven one of my favorite characters uh in the tmnt lore karai <laughs> i love that they put a hurry shredder's revenge she's a boss in shredder's revenge too she's a boss um karai i actually want to see a version of karai from shredder's revenge i want this shit do figures from shredder's revenge uh that little mauser dude with the with the mausers on his hands i want to see that dude i want to see a karai who else do i want to see um just a, some, some, maybe some foot soldiers or something. But yeah, there's there's a lot of the, the pizza monsters that are actual pizzas <laughs> and monsters. Yeah, do those guys. They need to start doing video game stuff again. But um, yeah, I can see Karai. Um, but I don't see Karai coming from Super 7 for the uh, 2000 show because they're already doing a Karai. Like a, vin uh, like a kind of vintage version of Karai. So you, I, I doubt we'll see her so soon in the 2k you know 2k 3 line um but as for for NECA you know they, they can give us a karai because we haven't we haven't had a karai from uh from NECA yet but we're getting the um the um 
uh, Last Ronin one, so that one's coming. But I don't really care for that one too much. Uh, but yo, all right, so my notes on her, I said she could come with, let's see, let's see. She would come with some swords, some ninja weapons. Um, definitely if we got one for, oh my God, it would be so cool. If we got one from our Shredder's Revenge, she comes with the, the, the chain. Um, let's see, maybe some effects for when she does her, like, her special attack where she's punching. Maybe do some effects like that. Uh, what else? What else? Um, she's got, like, crazy looking eyes. I want to see, like, a head with the glowing eyes. That would be cool. Uh, what else could they give her? Um, she comes with a sword, and then she actually comes with, like, those shredder claws. That would be cool. And then there's, there's originally 2K3, uh, Karai that she dressed up as the shredder. She took on the shredder's persona. That would be cool, too. I would like to definitely see, um, the Shredder Karai, because that was, like, that was actually really dope when she took on his persona. Man. Yeah, there's, there's a couple different rooms where each company can go. <laughs> with, I, yeah. Oh, man. So, I would love to see that. Um, she could be either an ultimate for NECA, or she could be thrown in a two-pack, in a two-pack. They could throw her maybe with like a foot soldier, or they could have a two pack of just her and her normal outfit and her shredder outfit. They could throw her with maybe, maybe even Baxter. Throw you know throw those two together, um, or that uh, that one assistant that she had. I don't know his name. He was like an orange hair dude um, that she that she had uh, employed. I don't I don't remember his name, but like he looked up the Baxter Stockman. Baxter Stockman was like, get out of here, bro. So that dude. Um, but yeah, I would love to see, I would love to see Karai, man. Numero six, or six, I should say, uh, Rat King. Now, Rat King was only in one episode, I Monster. That's a shame. He was only in, like, one episode. I don't count Fast Forward or whatever else came after that, Back to the Sewers. That, that mess was trash. I'm sorry. I love 2K3, but when they went Fast Forward, that was it for me. I was like, I'm done. I'm done. This, this mess is stupid. <laughs> it's, it's it's freaking stupid. I hated how they went to the future. And then when they came back to the sewers, the animation was doo-doo. I was done with it. <laughs> I, I don't think I ever finished it. I, I, I just couldn't sit through it. I couldn't. Um, so as far as I'm concerned, that that T, T, TK, uh, two, T, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, 2K3 ended right before Fast Forward. That's where it ended. Don't fight me, <laughs> but I would like to see Rat King because he he was crazy looking. Um, yeah, he was originally like a bio uh, mechanical cyborg created by Bishop, and then he had like um, DNA the DNA um, from Splinter himself and, and the Turtles, I believe too. So and then he had just he just looked crazy, like and I'm gonna show you guys some pictures at the bottom while I'm looking these guys up. Uh, let's see, Rat King. Yeah, he, he looked crazy. <laughs> like, I love the look of the 87 Rat King, but 2K3 Rat King, man, he just, he was, like, decaying, and, like, you can see his teeth over here, and he had, like, the, the splinter, like, fingers. I'm surprised he didn't have a tail. Um, I just love the look of that figure, and I think it would, I love the look of the character. I think it would make a really good figure. I, I, I just, I love everything about it. <laughs> and you definitely got to have this dude come with a whole bunch of rats. I don't really see him coming with any other weapons, though. Um, yeah, maybe maybe a bunch of rats. I, I, th I said maybe a 2x4. I think he used a 2x4 in the episode. Um, as for who he'd come with in a 2-pack, maybe he can come with Bishop. Or maybe he can come with Splinter, because there's a con connection with both those figures. Um, or those, both those characters. Um... As for Super 7, we're already getting a Rat King. So he's supposed to be re-released. Um, probably in a couple months, he's going to be in the next wave. Hopefully they do him justice, because last time it was just... Yikes. Um, but I, yeah, I don't really see him coming too soon. Um, most likely what I think they'll do is um they'll start off with the turtles so we're, we'll see the four turtles first for super seven and then we'll start seeing other characters we'll probably see like casey jones first april Shred we gotta get a shredder but well, I'll, I'll get to that i'll get to that 
but I, I think they'll start off with the with the basics instead of going like characters like Hun or like uh, like a foot soldier or like you know other guys. So start off with the turtles and then do the, the main characters first and then get to the other side characters. Um, what number are we on? Number five. We're on number five. Okay. Foot soldiers. You got to have foot soldiers. That's e that's an easy one. NECA, double two pack of foot soldiers. Be done with it. That's easy. Um, as for Super 7, we'll just have the one foot soldier come with a bunch of weapons. Um... Now, there are different foot soldiers, though. So there is regular human foot soldiers, and then they went to, into the foot tech ninjas, and then eventually, there, I think they were just robots after that. I think they were, they were like a mix of human and robot foot soldiers. Um, so yeah, you could, you, could, you could really mix and match, do some combo, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, I would start off with the human ones, and then do a, another two-pack of foot techs and then do another two pack of whatever came after there's so many different versions of foot soldiers it's not even funny um <laughs> and then they they could come with a whole sleuth of ninja weapons you know you know how it is with, with foot soldiers they come with like all the turtle weapons like swords and nunchucks size and all that good stuff um yeah i could definitely definitely see i want, I want an army of those, those foot soldiers i want an army i want it looking like I can't, I can't there, there's one dude who bought like so many foot soldiers for the movie it, it it looked dope i wish i could find the picture he had like an army of foot soldiers i want it looking like that it was, it was insane um on to number four shredder's elite guard i love these guys nice hats too <laughs> nice hats nice hats nice hats <laughs> nice hats they had cool hats um so one would come with um a spear one would come with axe one would come with a trident and then one would come with the, the two-bladed sword you gotta have like smoke bombs or smoke effects with these guys four pack of course yeah like you could do a two pack and a two pack kind of like they did with the frogs or just do like a like a san diego comic-con thing have it in the four pack do it like that that would be cool too um yeah i definitely want to see the the elite guard definitely want to see those guys because they look super cool just the look about them would be awesome um as for super seven if they did it it would just be one straight because it was it's basically the same guy so you basically have one elite guard you have the weapons for each elite guard in that pack and then you just buy four of them and then that's how they make the money <laughs> that's pretty much how they make the money that's pretty much it so um let's see number three you can't have a turtles line without master splinter i like the look of master splinter in the show it, it was like he looked he, he looked he looked pretty pretty radish i'd say <laughs> he did look like he looked like a rat it was different color he was like a grayish kind of color he looked like an old rat um he had that brown kimono on i like the look of him in this show i really did um that's probably the only time I really liked Splinter's look besides the 87 show. I liked him in 87. I liked him in 2000. And he was okay looking in 2000, what was that, the 2012 show? But he was huge, man. He was freaking tall. He was really big. Um, so it was, it was different seeing him that big. But he, you know, dude would fight, though. He would fight, man. Um, didn't like him in Rise. Like, why is he like this little fat, pudgy, fat thing I, I rise i just i'm sorry i couldn't get behind rise for all you rise fans out there i'm sorry i couldn't get behind it i'm sorry i did watch the movie the movie was okay but it wasn't my thing it was my cup of tea just like some of you might not like the new movie i like the new movie it was pretty good um definitely want to see it again because i know i missed a lot of stuff um but yeah i thought it was i thought it was good <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was really good it was it was different from of course what i grew up with but that's the point of turtles it's always changing it's always evolving it's always doing something different so either you like it you don't like it or you're in the middle like it, you know it's all good man whatever <laughs> you don't have to hate anybody else's opinion so i hate about if somebody makes a post about something and people gotta hate on it people gotta laugh at it like it's their opinion like why do you care so much <laughs> like you like if you didn't like it then mind your business <laughs> like you know 
don't don't be hating on somebody else. Anyway, um, yeah, we definitely need to see a master splitter. Um, soft goods rope, of course. Um, let's see, maybe he could come with the kid turtles if he did like an ultimate pack or a two pack. Maybe you could come with the baby turtles in one side, splitter in the other. Um, or maybe maybe even in an ultimate pack, uh, do it like that. If you did Super 7 version, have a nice Master Splitter, nice size Master Splitter, a um, whole bunch of weapons. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what I put? I also put, this, this would be dope too, because I actually put um, Master Splinter could come with either the Kid Turtles or a Rokusaki. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would be cool too to get in the Rokusaki figure, because he's not on my list, but if you, you know, He's not on the initial list, but I would love to see a figure of him. Um, besides, you know, being in the armor, I want to see him in his regular, like, uh, his gi. So, that would be cool. As for number two, you probably already know who number two and number one is. The main character is Shredder. <laughs> number two is definitely Shredder. I, I should actually have Shredder as number one, but out of respect for the Turtles... Treasures number two. This is my all-time favorite, favorite version of Shredder. Even though it wasn't really a Rokusaki, and it was um, Shirelle, the uh, the Utrom. For some reason, I love the design of this figure. I want to see both NECA and Super Seven tackle this figure because it's the, the design is just amazing. The red eyes and just the, like the black face, the armor looks dope just oh my god everything about this figure just uh all right how many different directions can we go i i i only like the first suit the best the second the, the like the mark ii version of the suit i don't really like too much mark three was it was you know eh. the first version is the best version um we definitely need a version where you can actually open up the stomach and you can see the utram inside trail inside we need a version like that um yeah, we, we definitely need that. Uh, he needs the Sword of Tengu. He needs the glove. He needs some bombs. Those bombs that he threw at the turtles when he locked them in the... Uh, when he locked them in the... Um, if they were like in a, some kind of room and then they locked them in there. Cut the gas. Threw the bomb. Blew the place up. Need one of those. Um, if you can't have Sherell come out of the stomach, have him kind of like sculpted in there and then have like a separate one on the side, Super 7 would kill this. Oh my God, I, I know they would kill it. I know Neck would kill it too. Oh man, just, just thinking about the possibilities of this figure, man. Oh my God. I want to see him. I actually want to see him before the turtles. I kind of want to see him first and then the turtles because we know the turtles are coming. <laughs> I want to see Shredder, man. He just looks so awesome. He, he looks so cool. I can't. I'm so glad the Super Seven's tackling this man. This this inspired me to do, to to finally get this video out and talk about my top ten man. This is this is the the kick in the butt that I needed. Um, so yeah, uh, we definitely need that. Um, as for heads, I would love to see. I don't know how. Okay, all right. Masters of the Universe Classics did something that I didn't think could be done, where they had removable helmets, and the head wasn't like, it didn't, it looked normal, it didn't look too clunky, it didn't look too big, when you put the helmets on, it actually fit the face, and they, they do a really good job at that, where you can remove the helmets and it doesn't look, you know, stupid when you put it on, um, if they can do that with Shredder, having a Rokusaki head and have the, the helmet be put on the face, without it looking dumb, I would like to see that. If not, you kind of go the route where it's the Shredder head, the Rokusaki head, pop them off, pop them on. Um, but I, I, I would really like to see, like, just the, the put the helmet on the head. I would love to see that. If it, if it works kind of like how um, Masterverse is doing it, I would love to see that. Um, if not, then just, you know, swap them heads. But... 
yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, hopefully, hopefully soon we'll see something. I don't. I don't know exactly what the plan is. I I couldn't really tell what they were talking about. Like they, they're swapping something out. And I wasn't really paying too much attention. But um, yeah, maybe we'll see something in November. I don't know. Oh, I'm so excited. You know, some somebody's finally tackling the 2K3 show. And I'm excited. <laughs> I can't wait. All right, number one, the turtles. So yeah, number one, of course, the turtles. You got, you got, you can't have a Ninja Turtles line without the turtles. So um, I definitely want to see interchangeable heads. So both both companies are good at that. Um, as for, I would like to kind of see it done how they did it with the turtles in disguise heads. How you can kind of like change out the expressions. You, you pop off the, you know, the the top of the head and the bottom of the head and you swap them out like that i would like to see that for the 2k3 turtles that would be cool um they definitely gotta come with clunk the cat <laughs> mikey's gotta have clunk um the 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 vehicles i would like to see them come with the with the uh the bike the scooter the skates and the skateboard um that would be cool i could see them first being released as maybe a an exclusive like a san diego comic-con exclusive four pack and then down the line kind of like what they do with the movies right you do a four pack and then individual two packs released after that i could probably see something like that happening um if not then, then well yeah most likely they'll probably just do the two packs kind of like they did the uh, the uh 87 show um as for super seven of course you're gonna get your single figures so you'll have your Leo, you'll have your Raph, all single, you know, um, all single carded figures or single box figures. Um, they definitely should come with those, 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 you know, I call them vehicles, but they're what, like rides. <laughs> I don't know, it's skates and skateboard and stuff like that. They should, they should each come with that because, like, what else are you gonna put with the turtles besides, like, you'll have like I don't know, do they do weapon sprues anymore? I don't know if they do those anymore. So if you if you're only gonna have them come with like the, the size and the bow and nunchuck and everything, and maybe a couple of ninja stars, throw in some other stuff. Throw in some random stuff in there, man. Like from the show, like like to what NECA does. Like throw in some like crazy thing that you see in episode like thirty six or something. Like just throw something cool in there. Do something like that. That would be cool. But yeah, I would love. I I can't wait. I can't believe Super 7 is actually getting to this first, which is crazy. That's kind of crazy to me. Because I guess with all the, the hoopla over them doing the Playmates figures and all that nonsense, they had to take a new direction. But, like, what direction exactly are they taking? Because, yeah, they're doing 2K3 stuff now. But, like, didn't Playmates make the 2K3 figures? Maybe they're not stepping on their toes because they're not really releasing the 2K3 figures in stores. They just don't want them doing the original playmates team and team figures that we're seeing in stores now so i don't i don't know the whole logistics behind all that crap it's stupid just leave super seven alone let them do their damn thing <laughs> i don't know but yeah so that's my top 10 um long overdue i should have had this video out like years ago <laughs> it feels like years anyway i don't know um so yeah that's yeah that's my take on it yeah april didn't make this list because she's the design just didn't scream <laughs> it didn't scream cool figure to me you know what i'm saying um hun didn't make the list either i'll give him a, a nodal uh, uh what did they call that uh honorable mention i'll give hun an honorable mention um bishop got an honorable mention um yeah, like, like Bishop was just a dude in a suit. It was just, Han is just this big clunky dude. Like, I mean, they could make cool characters, they could make cool figures, but the ones that I, I mentioned, they they just like they would just make cool figures just because of just the looks of the characters in that show. They just had a dope design. So and yeah, Leatherhead gets an honorable mention. But he actually kind of looks like the um the uh mirage version so it's like if you're already getting the mirage version so maybe down the down the line a couple years from now i'm gonna get a uh leather head so all right that's enough of me rambling um i'm excited i'm like 
<laughs> I'm so excited that I, I, my words aren't even coming out right. It's like I'm drunk, but I'm not drunk. <laughs> oh, man. All right, that's enough for me. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. I have no idea what that could be. Man. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> the vans are shipping out now. So, that's going to be fun. Um, I didn't do a review of Donnie's portal. Um, I don't think I'm going to open it yet. Because depending on what happens with the sewer layer, and I think today is the last day you can to uh, pre-order it if it's if it's not done already um i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait <laughs> I, I don't know how long this is gonna take so if we do actually get donnie's lab and then i'm gonna do a review of the lab and the portal together but this could be years down the road it could be next year i don't know we might never get it it all depends on the sales of this sewer layer so it, it i didn't talk about you know this video is going to be like a, like a half hour. Sorry, it's going to be long. Um, but I think I need to throw my hat in the ring on this one. It's $300 for this layer. I'm not cool with that. I think that is absurd. I think it's overpriced. And I think NECA is, is smoking rocks. <laughs> so they're taking advantage of a situation and they're being dicks about it. Um, I, I like NECA as a company. I like the guys. I like, you know, Randy and all those guys. They're cool. But it, there comes a point in time where, okay, you're dicking over the fans. If we could buy that big street scene dial for what it was like, what, 150 And the van was 250 And then they just want this box. <laughs> this, this box. Just... Three walls, a floor, and a couple, like a couch and a chair and some pictures is like $300. They're out of their flipping minds. Mm. Almost made me curse on this thing. I, I don't understand the math and the logistics and the logic that goes into pricing these three walls and this floor and this furniture for $300. And you can give us this big street scene with multiple floors, a whole bunch of different stuff. The thing is freaking huge for less than that. This cool van, this cool van that has movable parts and lights and just a whole bunch of stuff for two fifty, dollars and, 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 and this layer is $300? Yo, you guys can get wrecked. <laughs> Yo, for real, mega get wrecked. Like, you guys are asking for that. I'm sorry. I, I said it. <laughs> like, I'm just being real. So, that I'm going to throw my hat in the ring on that. I don't like what they're doing. Yes, I'm still going to buy it because I want that later. And, I, I you know, of course, I got to review it. Of course. <laughs> that's that's kind of my job. Um, but I... <sighs> I don't understand it. I really don't understand it. And I and I think they're wrong for that. And if the other two parts are, are three hundred dollars too, then come on, like give give the fans a break. We've been with you since day one and you gonna do us like this. Like that's that's messed up, man. Um I doubt any any I doubt any of them will hear this or watch this video, but I don't care. I just need to say it. So but yeah, I, I'm gonna buy it because I'm while I'm working on my own projects. So that the yeah, the custom project i'm doing my own things i'm not doing what they're doing i'm kind of doing something kind of completely different i like working on things that other people wouldn't think to do so that's what yeah <laughs> so i'll show you something right here so i'm kind of thinking outside the box um but yeah man that's just 300 dollars, man I, that, that's 900 dollars for that whole joint for the for the kitchen for the for the layer for the and for the lab that's that's nine hundred dollars as if we aren't giving NECA enough of our money <laughs> like yo get wrecked bro oh yeah that kind of pisses me off it, it, it pisses me off it, it really does and the fact that it's like they don't, they don't care they're like hey we're getting your money <laughs> so they don't they don't care Oh, man.
So yeah, when I see them at Comic Con this year, when I see them at New York Comic Con, I'm gonna say something about it too. I'm gonna be like, "Yo, guys, what's what's the deal with having this thing through be three hundred dollars?" I'm gonna definitely, I'm gonna definitely say something. So yeah, stay tuned for my New York Comic Con coverage because you might actually, I might actually record the conversation. <laughs> All right, that's enough of me rambling. I, yeah, that's only gonna piss me off now. I'm talking about this freaking thing. Thirty-three minutes and two seconds. All right, I gotta cut this. <laughs> it's gonna take forever to upload this video, man. All right, yo, y'all be good. I'm catching you on the west side. Peace.